Switch Game Collection Part 2. Let's go. Wrong one. He starting. I picked the wrong game. Anyway, next up. Didn't I do this one already? Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. I did this one already, didn't I? I must have rearranged my games. I don't know. Why is that going off? Anyway, speaking of which, um, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. I believe I talked about this in the first part. In case I didn't, and I just thought I did. I really enjoyed the combat of this game. I really enjoyed the story. I never beat it, but I got a good amount of hours into it. If I... Wait, did I get a few, few... No, that's the second one. But I did enjoy this. I did get all up in my feelings in the beginning of the game, but, you know, yeah. Benin Kingdom. I played this mostly on the PS4 when it came out on there. I got like maybe 16, 17 hours into it, and then for some reason I stopped playing. It tends to be a thing with me for any new viewers. Um, and I like it a lot. It's more action RPG. It's more ac the, the combat is more action. Pressing the buttons, character attacks is action RPG. And there's also a city in this game that you can build as you play uh, throughout the game, I believe. You go on side quests, if I remember correctly. I just remember really enjoying this as well as the first one. I got more hours into this than I did the first one. Octopath Traveler. That's great. Let's do a twofer. And Octopath Traveler 2. I got 30 hours or so into Octopath Traveler. I got maybe 10, 15 into Octopath Traveler 2. I really want to beat these games one of these days. But with games coming out lately, I have to, I've to. i been having to put some games to the side. But one day I do eventually want to get into both of these. They are class-based RPGs with kind of like the Brave... And, no, not Brave and Default System. If you don't... There's these, there are these dots on top of your character's name, and every turn, you get another dot, up to six, I believe. You get up to six. You could use them, you could use up to four, or you could save them. Uh, but once you get past six, you can't really get any more. But in the beginning of every fight, you start with one of the red dots, and you could blast through battles that way, the random encounters that way. But I really enjoy these two games, I, I like the I like how in this one, they interact a little bit more than in this one. Um, but yeah, one day I do want to get back to both of these games. Maybe someday soon. I need another video game drought. After Final Fantasy 16, if I think about it, there could be a video game drought until Starfield. No, Spider-Man 2, whichever one comes out first. The Outer Worlds on the Switch. The reason I got this is because it is the Outer Worlds on the Switch. I have it on PC, I have it on PS4, I beat it on PC. And I just pop this in from time to time being a, for being a game that was on PS4 and PC on the Switch. It runs decently, but I could give you a review of this game since I beat it on PC. I really like this game a lot, and The Outer Worlds 2 coming out eventually. Good news. I'm going to play that as well. It gives me a reason to boot up my Xbox, because is that not an Xbox exclusive? I tend to get Xbox exclusives only, but I'm thinking about changing that. I don't know, because my freaking Xbox is a... My Xbox Series X is a fucking... Paperweight. Anyway, Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I don't think I played this yet. Uh, I played a little bit of the other Pikmin games, but I remember enjoying them, but I don't know if I played this. I probably have. I'm pretty sure I liked it because I, I enjoyed the time I had with the other ones. So maybe one of these days I'll get around to playing this. Pokemon Legends Arceus? Arceus? I don't know. All I know is that I beat the main story, Pokedex, and do everything that there is to do in this game. Do you capture Arceus or Arceus? I don't remember, but whatever whatever you do with him, I did it. So, open world. Throw Pokeballs at Pokemon, capture them, you know, usual. Except new. No, this isn't usual. This takes place before any other Pokemon game. And I liked it. I liked it. Hey, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. This is a remake of Pokemon Yellow. They also have Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I would like a Pokemon Gold and Silver remake. Let's go... Lugia? Let's go Ho-Oh? I don't know. Anyway, it's a, remake of po it's a remake of Pokemon Yellow. I got to... What's the city? Ghost Pokemon City with the de with the towers of the de of the Poke Graves. I don't know. But yeah, when I got this, I got it with the Pokeball that comes with Mew. And uh, yeah, just like every other Pokemon game, I really enjoyed playing it. It was a lot of fun. Same with Pokemon Shield. I never beat this one. The only Pokemon game I ever beat was Pokemon X. And I'm very close to beating Pokemon Scarlet. 
But I think I have one or two badges left. But I've been playing. I haven't played that in a while, so I don't know. We'll get to that. But yeah, Pokemon Shield. I remember enjoying the little bit, like ten hours. I played of this. Did I play ten hours? Yeah, ten hours. Let's just go with ten hours. I enjoy it. It's a Pokemon game. Why wouldn't I? Here's Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, the double pack. Mainly because I, well, I got this from Best Buy. I got the double pack mainly because, you know what, those are cool keychains they come with. And I actually never bought a double pack before, so I decided to buy this one. I played I played Brilliant Diamond. I got to the Elite Four. Got pissed through my controller. Haven't played since. The game was a cakewalk up until then. Either that or I suck. Probably the latter. Anyway. And Pokemon, per and, uh, Pokemon Shining Pearl, I, ha I didn't play. I kind of got this for collecting purposes, but also, you know, it came with keychains. It's pretty cool. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet double pack. The reason I bought the double pack is because I was going to play Scarlet mainly and use the Pokemon Violet to trade the other two starters so I could have all three starters and Pokemon Scarlet, which I did, and it was a good idea because, I don't know, it's cool to have all three starters and I never really thought to do that before. Get both games and then pick the game I'm going to play mainly and then use the other game to get the two other starters. I think that was a good idea. And uh, yeah, I have the, all three starters in this game. So from now on, any time a Pokemon game comes out, I'm just going to buy the double pack. Yeah, buy the double pack. Why not? Here we have Poke Re Pokemon <laughs> Resident Evil Origin Collection. Origins Collection. I have this on the PS4 as well. And Resident Evil Triple Pack. Comes with Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6. Anything, that, anything that's been said about Resident Evil, uh, the Resident Evil 1 remake... It doesn't need to be said again. This is a fantastic remake. Pokemon, uh, Pokemon again. Resident Evil Zero leaves a little bit to be desired. I only beat it once, but the Resident Evil One remake, the original Resident Evil One remake, which is weird to say, if they do remake it again, uh, is a uh, look at that shine. I'm trying to get rid of the shine. Damn it, is a uh, a fantastic, fantastic remake as well as just a fantastic game in general. And Resident Evil Triple Pack. The reason I got it is because Resident Evil Four, Five, and Six on the Switch. <clears throat> I could play these games while dumping. It came with the cart for Resident Evil 4, but I gave it to my brother-in-law because I already had it digitally. Uh, so I gave him the cart, kept the package, and that's what this is. You know, my opinions of Resident Evil 4, my most beaten game ever, Resident Evil 5. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And Resident Evil 6. Mm. I don't know. What can I say? Anyway, there's a video on my channel, How I Would Remake Resident Evil 5 and 6. Be sure to check that out. I think I have some pretty interesting good takes on how to remake it. I don't know. Rocket League Ultimate Edition. I have Rocket League on the PS4. I got it that one month years ago when it was free. Loved the crap out of it, so I decided to get it on the Switch. I played it more on the PS4 than I did on the Switch. This comes with... Oh, never mind. It sounded like there's a booklet in there. No, it's just the case. It's just the, the cart. But as you can see from the cover, it's all shiny and shit. But uh, yeah, Rocky League, very addicting. I I was addicted to I was addicted as balls to this game on the PS4. I played it on the Switch a little bit, but mostly on the PS4. I haven't played it in a while because I kind of fallen out of love with online games. Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD remaster remaster or remake remaster. I haven't beaten this, but I got a few hours into it. It's Pokemon with demons. But it's also a turn-based RPG, J JRPG, my two favorite kinds of RPGs, turn-based and J. And uh, yeah, this is a remake. This is a remaster of the PS2 version, and I really enjoyed the time I had with this. Didn't beat it. I understand these games are long as shit. Uh, excuse me. Um, but yeah, maybe one of these days I'll get back to it. Same with Shin Megami Tensei 5. This is the Steelbook edition. Because, of course, I would buy a Steelbook. Why wouldn't I buy Steelbook? Steelbooks are rad. And, uh, yeah, same with this one. I got maybe five hours into it. Stopped playing. This is, from what I understand, this game is long as balls. And it is a, it, it's a time sink. It's a time sink. So, bring on the video game droughts. Let me see something. Yeah. Bring on the video game droughts. And, uh, so I could play these games that I have on my shelf and don't touch. Or stop playing, because I'm stupid. South Park, a fractured butthole. Did this come with the... No, this did not come with the download for the Stick of Truth. But I bought the Stick of Truth digitally, beat that, then went back and beat this. It's not the first time I beat those games. I beat the Stick of Truth on the 360 back in the day, and I beat this on the PS4 back in the day, and I beat it again on the Switch. South Park RPGs, 
The South Park humor, the humor from the South Park TV show in a video game format looks just like the freaking TV show. I think it's so cool that it's pretty much an episode of South Park you play. And I really enjoyed this game, making my own superhero, you know, going on a good old adventure with Cartman, Keel, and all of them. Good times. Spirit Fair. I got maybe eight hours in this game because I hear this makes you cry, and sometimes I could go for a good cry. We all can. Uh, but I haven't got to the point where anything cryworthy happens. But I did enjoy this game. It's a time management game. You're fair spirits. Oh, you take spirits over to the afterlife when you get an attachment to them. Do things for them. Feed them. From what I understand, it makes people cry. I could go for a good cry. But I didn't get to a point where I could cry in this game. But interesting trivia for you. These come with stickers. Oh, what? Well, almost tore it. These come with stickers of the spirits that you bring to the afterlife and it also comes with spirit fair postcards which i think is pretty cool there's this one if you could focus is it focused there we go there's this one and all this one let's go ahead and show this one Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention this one. I actually kind of like that. I don't know. You, I don't know. If there's a city in the game you could get to. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, did I ever tell you about the time I showed you this one? It's nice and nighttime. It's cool. And last but not least, I was told I would be killed if I didn't show you this one. Which this is where you where you take the spirits to the afterlife and where everybody cries. It says you're going to miss them. I wish I could get to that point. I'll get to it Monday. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. From what I understand. I don't think anybody's ever played this game without crying. So, uh... Wish I already redeemed. But in case I didn't, I won't show you. My sister wants this game. I won't get it for her one day. Because Lord knows she won't get it herself. Anyway. Stardew Valley. This game's great. Time management game. I enjoy those from time to time. Your character inherits a farm from a from a family member who passed away. And you could... I believe you could start a family in this game. You tend to your farm, your crops, all that good stuff, your animals. And, uh... Yeah. But I, I, like, the, I like the artwork on the cover. I'm not gonna not tell the truth. I like the artwork on the cover. If you could focus for me. Ask... Or, yeah, but you can get the picture. Look at that. Cool. This comes with stuff, too. Oh, check it out. This comes with a manual. Remember these from back in the day? Oh, such good times. The game manuals. Fantastic. Pelican Town. That's the name of the town, I would imagine so, because it says Pelican Town. But, uh, yeah. Time management game, a lot of fun if you like those games. Um... I enjoy them. I enjoy them. I enjoy them. They're good times from time to time. Minecraft, for example. It's not a time management game. You just build shit and defeat the Enderman or whatever. Uh, that Games like that are kind of, are the game, kind of games. Last two and said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i play for a little bit. And then 11 hours later, I'm still playing. And my day's gone. Anyway. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Physical... And still sealed. And this is still sealed. I found this at a Best Buy. And I was like, ooh, isn't this going to be like go up in price? So I bought it. I don't think it did. It's limited for no reason because I don't think scalpers scalped them. Or maybe they did, but they can't sell them because... The reason I kept it sealed is because I bought it digitally first. But uh, yeah, I'll just keep it sealed. You know, I have a sealed game collection. Maybe I'll show you a sealed game collection. Who knows? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Anyway, three great Mario games. All in one package, except Super Mario Galaxy 2. I have it on the Wii, but, you know, it would have been nice to include, just because the other one... Wait a minute, the original Super Mario All-Stars had four games in it. This only has three? You couldn't just add freaking Galaxy 2? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's a reason behind it. No idea. Uh, you know what? Here's a twofer. Super Mario 3D World and Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario 3D World was nominated for Game of the Year back when it came out on the Wii U, which I have the copy if you saw my Wii U game collection video. But this also comes with a bonus game, Bowser's Fury. Bowser's Fury. Bowser's Fury. 
and I really enjoyed playing what I did of Bowser's Fury and 3D World. I played mostly on the Wii U, but it is a great, great 3D platformer, as is Bowers, ba Bowers, Bowser's Fury. And Super Mario Odyssey was the second Switch game I've ever gotten because when the game when the Switch first came out, the only game I got with it was Breath of the Wild. Beat that, and then for months my Switch was kind of sitting there collecting dust. And then this came out. This was nominated for Game of the Year the year it came out as well. Same with Breath of the Wild. And uh, yeah, this game is great. Super Mario Odyssey, the most recent 3D Super Mario game. I love it. You throw your hat, you jump on them. You could take you could take control of the Goombas, take control of anything you throw your hat on. Anything alive, you could throw your hat on. Unless there is a part where you can throw it on something that's not alive and still... I don't know. Anyway, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I got a good amount of characters in this game. I remember when this came out, like a few days after it came out, somebody unlocked all the characters. And I'm like, what the... F are you Yo, teach me, man. But I will kick your ass with... Pa ah, I will kick your ass with Pac-Man in this game. Come at me, bro. And, uh, yeah. Does there need to be another Super Smash Bros. game after this? Since this is technically Ultimate? Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah, there's a lot of money to be made on that. Tactics Ogre, Tactics Ogre Reborn Strategy RPG, which I didn't play the original. I started to play this for a bit and didn't finish. I got like maybe an hour in. I want to go back to it because I like strategy RPGs. I used to think I suck at them, but I got older and now I'm okay at them. I'm okay at them. And funny story, this came out the same day as God of War Ragnarok. When I beat God of War Ragnarok, I finally put this in and started playing, and the voice of Mimir, I believe is his name, that flowed the, the head attached to Kratos, is a voice in this game, which I was like, damn, he's getting paid today. Anyway, Tactics, Tactics Ogre Reborn, one, all that stuff, Tales of a this game, I just remember getting about maybe three hours into it, but I understand a lot of people love this Tales uh, we'll get to it. The final fantasy songs from Final Fantasy 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15? I think I was addicted to it for a little for to have the other ones on the 3DS, but this one Triangle strategy, another strategy. I was going to say Super Smash Bros. for some reason. And I got maybe, again, three hours into this and then I stopped playing. Back to it. I do like strategy RPGs. And a bunch of them. I don't want to beat some of them. Undernauts, Labyrinth of Yomi, or Yami. The guy who runs the video game store I go to recommended me this, and I take all his recommendations because the first one he ever recommended to me was awesome. This is you uh, a dungeon filled with riches and things. Yeah, stuck in a dun in a tunnel system under Japan or something or other. And this is like a first person RPG where you know like run, you know it's like, and then you turn and then encounters and everything. I got a I got a good chunk of time into this, but I never beat it. Mm. I never beat it. I want to one day, and I recommend this to anybody who hasn't played it, because it's turn-based RPG. You use the switch boost system to defend. Yeah. Anyway, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. WarriorWare, get it together. The WarriorWare game, great. I got like maybe five hours into this. I didn't play all the mini games available with it. Maybe one, not maybe one day. One day I will. I'm just gonna fucking say it. One day I will. I won. I will play all these games one day. But yeah, these mini games are great, as well as the mini games and other WarriorWare games. And uh, yeah, the gang's all here. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition. This runs decently on the Switch. I played this for a little bit. I played it more on PS4. Never beat it. Of course not. If you like The Witcher 3 on any other console, you will like it on PC, you will like it on here. I also have it on PC because I, re because I buy games for multiple systems. Of course, why not? Wonder Boy Collection. This comes with Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy and Monster Man Land, Wonder Boy and Monster World, and Monster World 4. They're action platformers. I played this for a little bit. I like platformers. I like action games. I like action platformers. So I played it. I liked a little bit of... I, I, I liked it. I maybe got... I, I'm pretty sure I got less than an hour in this thing. But I'm pretty sure probably because I got it for a decent price. That's probably why I got it. 
That's not why I dropped it, though. Anyway. Oh, here's a threefer. Damn, we're getting down to, we're getting down to it, aren't we? Anyway. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Xenoblade Con Chronicles 3. One day, I want to beat all three of these games. They are long as balls. I started with one. One. And then I googled if I needed to play one and two to get three. No, not really. So I played three. But then I decided, you know what? I want to start from the beginning. One, two, three. I have less... I have a few hours in each of these. Except for three. I maybe have like less than an hour in three. But I have a few hours in both of these. Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2. And there's a character in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 whose tits are... What? Do they need to be that humongous? But beside the point, great action RPGs. Uh, I will get to them one day. I have to. I have to. That's ridiculous. I spend all this money, and I don't beat some of these games. I beat some of them, but I also don't beat some of them, or most of them. I don't know. Here's a twofer. Here's a twofer, twofer. Ease Origin and Ease 9 Monstrum Nox Packed Edition. Have it on the PS4, have it on the PS4, but here I could play. I'm taking the dump. But I was actually kind of addicted to Ease Origin, not going to lie. Just the gameplay and the grinding in this game is so addicting. And I got 16 hours into this on the PS4. Then I stopped playing. There was no reason not to, there, there, there was no reason to stop playing. I just stopped playing. But yeah, I, I want to get Ease 8. I have Ease 8 on the PS4, but I want it on the Switch. Great action RPG series. I didn't, I've only beaten Ease Origins, and I've played most of them in the series. And interesting trivia for you. <laughs> Comes with Monstrum Memoirs, which is has that fresh game manual smell. Prims talks about the main characters, Monstrums, and illustrations. I'll show you a few pages. I'll drop it first, and then I'll show you a few pages. See? Look at that. There's the White Cat, the Crimson King, the Hawk, the Doll... The Renegade, the Raging Bull, which, by the way, the character the Raging Bull has titties and ass for days, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Aprilis? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I ran into her at, the, at some point in the game. I got 16 hours in. But, uh, yeah. Cool stuff. I like I like how, uh, what is this? Memorable Melodies? I'm looking, digital soundtrack. I don't know if I ever, uh, whatchamacallit, redeem that. But, anyway... Yeah, I was addicted to balls to Ease Origin, and Ease 9 is also a great game, and from what I understand, Ease 10 is on its way, so maybe I feel like I feel like I should beat some of these games. Most definitely. And lastly is Yuppie Psycho Executive Decision. Executive Edition. Sorry. This is a horror game. Look at the graphics. It's pretty cool. It's a horror game. Yeah, but... This is actually beat this in like five minutes. Your character, the, you're the yuppie who goes for a job interview, and if you accept the job, then the game starts. You know, ooh, scary horror. But you could say, you know, what? I think I don't think this job is for me. You leave the building, credits roll. You technically beat it, technically. But yeah, I played. I got maybe three, four hours into this before I stopped playing because, of course, I did like what I played though. This is survival horror, I believe it said right. But in the world's only first job yeah survival horror it's a survival horror game the graphics are unique not unique we've seen them before but i think it's pretty cool what's any oh certificate of authentic of offset of authenticity check that out didn't forgot that was in there has a fresh cardboard or what smell I smell my games. I smell my books. I smell my movies. I smell my old farts. Anyway, but I did enjoy this game. I recommend it to anybody who likes survival horror and wants a unique looking game for the Switch. Unique looking for today's day and age. But anyway, that is part two of my Switch game collection. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what games in the comments you got on the Switch. Mini reviews. If you give mini reviews if you want. Whatever you want. I'll read it. I read it all. I love it. I love you. Be sure to hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the dislike if you didn't like it. Uh, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, whether on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Trovo, whatever you want. God bless. I will see you all later. Hit the bell for notifications as well if you like. So, uh, yeah. I will see you all later. And uh, hopefully Diablo 4 works now. I'm just kidding. I tried it before recording this video. It doesn't. The reason it doesn't work is because I have a physical copy. 
Okay, but I'm gonna play it tomorrow, because it better work, because if not... Anyway, bye.